We see a lot of different knee injuries, uh, anywhere from arthritis or tendinopathies, an injury to the muscle attaching to the bone, such as the patella tendon or hamstring tendons. Uh, we also uh, treat ligament issues, such as uh, tears in the anterior cruciate ligament, or the ACL ligament, um, and other ligaments around the knee. Uh, so we treat a variety of uh, different knee injuries. Um, the traditional treatments uh, for these injuries can include anything from physical therapy, anti-inflammatory medications, uh, injections of steroids, um, as well as surgery. Uh, our treatments differ in that uh, we're trying to initiate healing uh, into those tissues instead of masking pain or trying to remove body parts and replace them with artificial ones. Uh, the traditional treatments, uh, such as anti-inflammatory medications, can actually impair your healing mechanisms, and they also have many side effects for a variety of uh, organ systems in the body. Those steroid injections, in addition, can directly uh, injure the tendons um, as well as injure the cartilage for those type of injuries. Uh, we use platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, as well as stem cells uh, to treat these type of injuries. The goal is to stimulate healing and repairing those tissues. Um, PRP is a product of uh, taking a blood draw and processing that down in the lab, spinning it down so that we are uh, able to isolate the platelet fraction as well as the growth factors that can initiate a healing response in those tissues. Uh, stem cells uh, have been used for orthopedic conditions coming from the bone marrow. Uh, so we can draw bone marrow aspirate from the hip bone, uh, process that down the lab to extract out the portion that has the most stem cells or repair cells, uh, inject those directly uh, into the areas of uh, injury. Here at Regenix, the difference is we don't do blind injections. We use fluoroscopy or ultrasound for every injection we perform so we can actually see the areas of injury and place our healing cells or healing growth factors directly into those defects.